Some great Métis-influenced um, texts are Manny's Memories, written by Ken Karen and Angela Karen, illustrated by Donnelly Dumont, and there's a Métis translation by Norman Fleury. So I think this is um, uh, a beautiful piece of Mr. Karen telling, you know, his childhood memories of Round Prairie Settlement near Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and there are many Métis communities throughout Canada. And kind of seeing that everyday lived experience, picking berries, um, working on fence posts, and we also see how, as a teacher lens, we see the real connection to real life. We see the images. We see, um, we see the images of his family and making those connections. At the back, there's also a disc, but we also see how his daughter was instrumental in helping him write this text. And as well, we see his family today. So it's a, it's a great story. You know, this is an everyday lived story. It's a recollection of memories and how he is sharing this with us. Another beautiful example is called The Giving Tree, a retelling of a traditional Métis story. And it's written and illustrated by Leah Dorian. And the Métis translation is by Norman Fleury. Um, what's really beautiful about this text is that we see it in English, but we also see the translation immediately underneath in Machef. And we can kind of see the code, the color coding difference, as well the stunning art. And we see that influence of the dot art and um, how that's, you know, highly influenced in this piece of text. So you could even come up with your own giving tree in your classroom. Back home, we have a um, a long time ago, what would happen is when Métis people were passing through on the landscape and say they needed to stop and take a break on a traveling route, there may be a tree or there may be something that would be stashed inside the tree, um, rations, food, different pieces. And so maybe you could create your own giving tree. And if you needed something, you would take something from the tree, but you would give something back in exchange. So maybe students could create their own giving trees in their classrooms and they could bring something in, they could donate an item, maybe they could give a giving tree, maybe they could give something away in their community, maybe they could give to someone who needs something more than they do. But understanding that if you give, you receive, you could go into the relationship of um, reciprocity. You know, this, you could go into conversations around treaty you could go into conversations around Métis Treaty. Um, so it's really, I believe that a piece of text can open, it's a motivational setting, it's something to simply open a door about conversation and, and how can you start your own giving tree in your classroom.